hello everyone and welcome back to another Ravio mod showcase. Today we are doing Fallout 4. We're going to be showing off the backpacks of the Commonwealth. And before anyone says anything, I know, I know, this video came out a little late uh, today. <laughs> As I am recording this the day that I am posting it. Uh, Cam and I had scheduling issues this week. So we could not record another episode of Fallout 3. However, we will be doing, we will be trying to get back to it next week. So once we load in the lovely character that I have ready, first thing we're going to do is exit the vault. As the first thing of the backpacks of the commonwealth has to do is when you exit the vault. Yep, yep. Alright. So as you can see, we're just barely level 1. Fresh coming out of the vault. We're out of the vault. A few other mods load in. And no sooner than we are, we get Backpacks of the Commonwealth. Stumbled across an issue of the of backpacks. Now, of course, we hit enter. And it gives us a desired spawn rate. This desired spawn rate is custom. We can make it to where backpacks are only found once, which is the predetermined locations. 20% to have them more in the pool, 5%, 10%. We're going to go with default for once. Now, the next thing to show off. There are predetermined locations for these backpacks. The two closest ones are actually right nearby in Concord. And at Trudy's Diner. They do not count as stealing, no matter who's in front of you. So we're just going to ignore all the main purposes of everything else for a minute. And yes, if you do notice, uh, I also have weapon lowering. And of course, I did forget to mention this with the original one. With the original book, you can go set up the settings any time to be different. So, say you start off with 0% and later you want 20%, you can. But first one is, of course, the postman's mailbag. Now... When you go into apparel, it'll say exactly the name you see. It'll give you a little bit of damage resistance and the carry weight it specifies. So, of course, this is a carry weight 10. Of 
course the big thing is there are multiple of there are multiple different ones you'll get to see more of them as you go through the game leveling up honestly you'll probably hit all of the backpacks you can even go out of your way to hit all of them and there are four other skill book skill magazines for them similar to like how you have guns and bullets and all that in this game one of them is of course up there with the power armor which I believe that is I want to say that's the one that should fix up the power armor to work but I'm not sure there's one of the skill books that as of the version I'm using which is 1.5.4 doesn't work for what it should but each of the books also give you a boost to carry capacity and I believe a boost to your power armor carry capacity as well Sorry about that, that was my phone. I'm going to hit the A button. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. <gasps> uh. wonder where it's going to put us. Because... Yeah. <laughs> it, okay, so it put us all the way back here. Also shows I'm not ready to deal with Wolfgang as I thought but yes that is where a second backpack is now of course there are other backpack locations and of course mentioning there are the four magazines one of which is at the Concord Museum up at the top with the power armor I believe another one's at Cabot House and I if I'm remembering I think one is at Cambridge Police, but it's it's fuzzy to remember at times. I don't remember where the fourth one is. Oh, no, the fourth one is exactly where I remember it is now. There is... So, there is some fun with this mod that can be had. You can completely rush yourself towards getting the best backpack in the game. It is suggested to not go there for a very good reason. No way. Of course, we'll do our usual spawn rate. But yes, until you get a specific book, it might be the Cambridge one. The backpack, similarly to most other pa armors, won't do anything while you're in power armor. Once you get that skill book, it will, of course, update, and you will get power... At least that's what I want to say. Some people, for their version, it happens one way. Some people, for their version it happens the way that I've seen it every time I've played with the mod at this point since I've downloaded it I am able to 
have the full carry capacity in power armor without the book being picked up. Like, I could start a fresh playthrough, run over here, grab the postman's bag, run up to the top of Concord, grab the power armor, and it will work. There we go. Now, don't ask me why it works, but it does. Now, of course, we got the postman's mailbag again. Beyond this, we can also upgrade them. So, we'll head back to Sanctuary to show off the upgrading. There are a few different skills you need depending on which backpack you're using. Uh, I believe part of them can be medicine. Uh, I actually need to look at, well it's, uh, it's based on perks. So I think part of it has to be medic. I think part is science or chemist. Uh, might be chemist. Strong back is always needed. And there's another one. I think it's armorer. To be honest, I don't remember. Whenever we get to Fallout 4 for the playthroughs for Two Buddies Play, this will be in all of the playthroughs. As we are going to be doing... A playthrough for every ending. But okay, so I believe we have to do it here at the armor workstation. Yep. So armor is needed for basic stuff. Strong back is used, I think, for certain ones. And the easiest way we can show off that some of them need unique ones. And they will also need more than they show for perks. Is to go try to get the final backpack. Now, of course, the final backpack in this mod is exceedingly hard to get. At a mere level 1, you're not getting it. Level 1 with a 10 mil pistol, you're not getting the thing. But essentially, what you want to do on the map, you want to come to... Uh, I think it's about over here. And besides, beside a specific location, to speed up this showing off, I am going to enable God Mode, <laughs> just so we can keep running. At that location, there is a, if I'm remembering correctly, there is a new building that is unique. to this mod. We'll even grab an extra weapon as a just in case. We're just going to keep running for it. You can... There are many locations that there are backpacks. There's Trudy's Diner. There's... I want to say the Cambridge Polymer Labs has one. I may be wrong.
There's one in the Super Duper Mart over here in, uh, I think this is Lexington. Yeah, Super Duper Mart here in Lexington has one. Of course, I'm not worried about perks right now. If this was a normal playthrough, I would have already had level 2 before I hit Lexington probably. So, perks, not really an issue. Just knew they were going to be annoying, but you continue walking this way. Now, many of the backpacks you'll see on leveled enemies as you level up through the mod. I think a few of them start out with the postmans and you start seeing a lot of the specific raiders ones that you can see you can get from unique certain locations there's only one specific backpack that you can't they don't have a location on nexus mods for but i do believe there's a place for it somewhere in the wide world of fallout 4 i just don't know where <laughs> Oh wow, did I? Wait. Hmm. For a second I thought I was like right around Cambridge, but I know Cambridge is off to the uh, west more. Right, this bridge doesn't help us get across. We have to go down here to the, ha the bridge down by uh, Cabot. As the skulls show, we should not be in this area. I may have been a little off with my location, because I believe it's right up ahead. It is. So, 
The easiest way you'll know you're at the right location is you'll be here at Hester's Electronics. Hester's Consumer Robotics. Well, this building right here is normally nothing in the base game. But for this game, it is the Boston's Backpack HQ. Now for a character of level 2, we have nothing we can do here. Usually. But through the power of consoling, I can show you exactly what is here. As this is where you will get the final backpack. In order to fit, go through this, you'll have to expert lock this terminal. And then there is a box in there that needs to be expert lock picked. For now, we're just going to unlock the door. When you come in, of course you start hearing wonderful music. Nice. Backpacks of the Wilderness. Increases backpack power armor capacity by 20 pounds. And they're more likely to appear now when you go down here it spawns in this big boy it spawns in two people first off the legendary glowing big boy you see there the mythic quantum death claw which if I'm remembering correctly must be killed in order for this to continue so we're gonna try to now of course he will give off some legendary gear once you unalive him of course you still have one other person to deal with the guy up here, who is a gunner scientist, running a very powerful gun, and is someone I should not be dealing with right now, but... Because he has a Gauss Rifle. Now for a second you noticed he did have the final backpack on him. But for some reason, in the game's infinite wisdom, it decides to move it over here afterwards. So you press the button and it raises it up for you to take the Pega Fusion Powered PCD Mark III. Neg to agility, but an overall weight capacity of plus 85. Now, of course, with my agility, it's uh, my agility is a 1. Of course, there's a bed, some excess Nuka Cola stuff, Quantum Cherry, and Victory. As well as a normal Nuka Cola. Now, when you come out, you will be. It is not, also, side note, it is not suggested to come here until you've properly geared yourself up. I came here as fast as I could to show off the area. Now, you will come out right here. This exact door right here is not here until you have beaten. I believe it's not until you've beaten the quantum, uh, the legendary quantum death claw. But you now have you now have a way back into the bottom section. Now to show that this one, this one actually needs I think 
at max, it'll need four perks. I believe it's chemist, medic, armor, and strong back at varying levels. I would suggest going towards four levels of each by the time you go to get this backpack. Though, going through a playthrough, it's liable that you're not, if you don't care too much, you may just buff your agility enough to where the agility debuff doesn't matter. But as you can see, it can be upgraded. Oh, science, not... So I think there might be five, because I think chemist is supposed to be in one of these. Or maybe it's just science. But you do need strong back as well. So you, the options available that are best, go into strong back and armor, try to get up to science, as well as getting medic. The medic is due to certain things. I think it's this one right here. The auto dispenser all in one microfusion reactor as it removes rads from water and everything. And of course, the backpacks do actually show on the player. This is meant to have a hovering anti grav field on it. And of course, they will work in power armor. They let you carry much, much more than you used to without needing to do much. So, thank you everyone so much for watching this Fallout 4 mod review of Backpacks of the Commonwealth. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!